Right, so I'm down to nine miles. I'm going to see if I can charge this up. Obviously you can charge up at home, so that's probably the most preferred way. But I'm gonna see if I can charge up in a public service station for the first time. So this is a rapid charger like you'll find on the motorway service area um, but this is actually on a golf course so no one's here at the moment because of lockdown but these are the same sort of rapid chargers you'll find at motorway service stations. So on this charger you've got both a DC and an AC charger so you've got two DC chargers you've got a CCS which is like a type 2 but with combined bit underneath. This will go on later things like um, the later Renault Zoe's, Jaguar I-Paces, uh, Audi e-trons, etc. So you've got the DC charging. The top of it looks like your, uh, your Type 2 charger, but you've got an extra bit underneath. You've got a Chad Demo charger. Uh, these are used on things like Nissan Leafs. And again, that's a quick charging, but on Nissan Leafs, you actually have a, a separate charge for charging at your home. And here is the type 2 charger so this is same as the uh, connector you use for charging at home so that just plugs straight into that connector like I say if you're using the CCS with the DC charging you have uh, another door underneath that you you move the top of it would look like this and the bottom has a um, an extra couple of connectors so to start the charge you download the app on your phone I'll show you that in a second um, I'll show you that while I'm actually charging up the car. I'll show you a bit while the car's charging in real time. The charge session, you can either use a, a like a contactless card there, or you can download the app onto the um, onto your phone. You plug the lead in, so I'll show you that in a minute, and um, you commence your charging with the app. So once it's completed, you tell the app that you've finished charging, and then everything will switch off. So I'll show you that in a minute. So on the key. You have a button that opens your flap. There's the flap. So you get your lead. Plug that in. And it shows on the app. And now that looks like it's charging. So it shows you there on the phone that it's charging. And then on the display, tells you how long it's expected to fully charge. It's charging at 15, 16% now. So, so it's got one hour from having nine miles left. So load up your charging apps that you've downloaded on your phone. Obviously this is on an iPhone. Um, you can obviously do it on Android as well as on iOS. This um, charger is a Swarco, so I'll click on the Swarco app. So that will load up now. So you can enter the charger ID number straight at the top. So I'll just zoom in. So there's the charger I'm at at Rugby Golf Course. So I'll just swipe up. Again, it shows you the three different type of chargers and the rate at which they'll charge at. Although it does say 22 kilowatts for the Type 2, it does actually say 43 on the machine. So you've got a CCS charger, 51 kilowatts, a Chadmo, 51, both of those are DC chargers, and a Type 2 charger. So once you plug the lead into your car, then to operate the charger and start it charging, you press start charge. Now I haven't actually got my lead in there at the moment, but I'll show you on the screen of my car as it's actually charging up. So to end the charge, again, use the app. You click on end charge at the end and that will stop your charging. So we've been charging for 10 minutes. 
and we've put in 6.8 kilowatts saying that the battery is now up to just bring this in there so it's saying the battery is now up to 45 percent that's uh, had about nine miles of uh, range left when i plugged it into charge so saying that the time is now going to be down to uh, about 40 minutes so this is a um the early uh, renault zoe this has got the 43 it's a 43 AC kilowatt charger in it. Uh, the slightly later ones drop down to 22 kilowatts. Um, you could still order the quick charge version, which was the same as this, um, having the 43 kilowatt charger. But the range on the 22 kilowatts was just slightly better. Um, but charging wise, if you were on a, a journey and you could stop at a motorway fast charger like this one that I'm at, at the moment, um, and you can charge your car in 30 minutes instead of 60 minutes, losing those few mile range, to me, is probably worth it. So unfortunately, it's not a DC sort of fast charger, it's just an AC charger. So you don't have the um, super quick charging like you do on some of the others. But how long have we been going now? So now it says we've elapsed for 12 minutes on the phone. And it's saying that the battery is just coming up to 50% to charge. There we go, 50% to charge. So I'll just skip through to the next bit. So I don't know if you can see on my phone. That's now 20 minutes of time elapsed. It's saying I've drawn in 13.074 kilowatts. So far it's cost me £3.92. And it's saying that the percentage of the battery is now at 70%. On these fast charges, you typically only charge to about 80%. Not only uh, is the last sort of 20% of your battery, it takes a, a long time for that to charge. But uh, generally speaking, it keeps your battery in better conditions if you charge to 80% on these fast chargers. So um, yeah, 20, 20 minutes and I'm already on 70%. And that's going from a nine mile uh, estimated range. So there we go, 20, oh, it's just gone from 25 to 26 minutes. So far we put in four pounds 58 worth of electricity, which is 15.278 kilowatts. And it's now running at about 79% charge. So there we go, we're on 30 minutes of charging, drawn in 16.34 kilowatts. And the cost is four pound 90, so just under five pound. So I'm just gonna end the charging there, but just to show you, on 80 well just gone up to 84 percent on the battery so just go and end the charging and yes so thank you for charging with swarco is it swarco here connect so it said time elapsed 31 minutes power drawn at 16.534 kilowatts and the cost to me was four pound 96 now this is running at around about 30p a kilowatt. So your home chargers, if you're charging at home, you should be somewhere around about five to six pence per kilowatt overnight. So I'm just gonna give them a, a happy smiley face. So before we disconnect it, you have to use the disconnect on the key or there's a button in the dashboard, so just disconnect it. And that allows us to pull out the um, charger. And then close the flap. So that was the first time I've ever charged on a public charger. A little over 30 minutes. So if you want to see a review on the car from a petrol head, then please click on the link above. Okay, so first things first, um, you have some apps on your phone. So ZapMap's a good one. So I'll just go on to ZapMap for you. So ZapMap will actually show you uh, where all different charges are from all different manuf 
uh, all different suppliers. So in here, you tap on that one, it says it's a rugby golf course, Swarco eConnect, shows you the three types of charges you've got. Um, if you go into here, at the moment it tells you the device name, got the info where it tells you the pricing, it says you can use the app or, or an RFID card. So that's a way to find some of your charges.